when you have text that you want to place around an object so it makes it look like it's printed on the object, um, you have learned about free transform and we can do a free transform on text but you'll notice that we're kind of limited here. Scale, rotate, skew, and warp. And even if I choose warp, there's only these preset uh, ones that I can that I can use. So the option that you have is to make it into a smart object. So I'm going to press enter to get rid of the free transform. Right mouse button click and convert to a smart object. Now if I do a free transform, command T, you'll notice that all the warps are available to me, including the standard. Uh, let me push it around any way that I want kind of warp. Okay, so let's do a free transform and we'll try and fit it to the cup. So I'm going to first, I'm going to scale it, hold down my shift key so it goes proportionally. So it's about the size of, of a coffee cup. Now I'm going to press return to accept that do a free transform again and one of the things I can do is a warp. Now a warp lets you really mess around with it. So I can grab this and say let me pull that up in there and this needs to come about there and So it takes a little bit of finessing. If you want to get those warp lines out of the way, you can do Command H, which hides the the warp grid, and then you can actually work on it and then once you have it set just press enter and that accepts it or do the check mark up at the top. Now let's change the blending mode to uh, multiply so it goes into the cup. Alright so there's one way. Now I'm going to back up and undo I'm going to do Command Option Z, and we're back to this point. Now, sometimes Command T, warp. Sometimes these preset ones may even work a little bit better. You notice that it took a bunch of finessing doing the standard warp. So I'm going to do the arc, but. Uh, the arc is bent the wrong direction. So let's come up to the options bar and I'm just going to click in on the word band and start dragging to the left there. And I think I'll accept that about like so, but it's a little bit too big for the cup now. So I'm going to go Command T and hold my Shift and my Option key down. That will force it to go around the center. 
and then place it on the cup where I want it to be. Set the blend mode to multiply. And then if things don't actually work out the way that you want, you can you can try to warp it again, but you'll notice that once you've applied one warp, it won't let you do a standard warp anymore. So it's not as totally freeform as you'd like it to be, but it does work. <laughs>